Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. We are in the part 3 of the video for class 4 under the place value concepts. In part 1 of the video, we completely dealt with place value concepts in 5 digit numbers. In part 2 of the video, we dealt with place value concepts in 6 digit numbers. Now in part 3 of the video, we are going to test the learning done in 5 and 6 digit numbers with respect to the place value concepts. And place value concepts comes under the number concepts. To begin with, let us do a quick revision of some concepts that we have learnt in lower classes. We have seen how to represent numbers using number blocks. To know more details about how to represent numbers or how to build numbers using number blocks, please do refer to my class 2 and class 3 videos which is present in my channel. The links for the same videos are provided below in the description box and also at the end of this video, I have given directly link to those videos. We know that 1 cube represents 1000 and this represents 110 and these represents ones. So we have three thousands, one, two, three, four, four tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six ones. So let us put them in the place value chart. So you will have the number three zero four six. Three in the thousands place, and we don't have any representation for hundreds, four tens, and we have six ones. And it has the number name 3046. Let us move on to the next number. Here we have 1000 and this represents 100. So how many hundreds we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. And how many tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And how many ones we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have... 1,400, 5, tens, and 8, ones. When you put it in the place value chart, we have the number 1 in the thousands place, 4 in the hundreds place, 5 in the tens place, and 8 in the ones place, which makes the number 1,458. Let us move on to the next topic. In this video, I have included questions like answer in a word, choose the correct answer, questions on abacus, questions on numbers and number names, and finally questions on face value and place value concepts, and all these are for both 5 and 6 digit numbers. So viewers, stay with me till the end of this video. So the first question we have here is, Name the largest four digit number. The largest four digit number is 9999. Notice the period of the comma which is added after the ones, tens, and hundreds period. The next question we have is name the period that the ones, tens, and hundreds digits form. What is the name of the period? It is called as the ones period. 1s, 10s and 100s together form the 1s period. Name the smallest 5 digit number. The answer is 10,000. So we have 5 digits over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And notice the comma after the 100s digit. To show a 6 digit number in an abacus, how many spikes do we need? The answer is 6 spikes. The value of 3 in the number 2, 4, 5, 3, 6 goes up by how many times when it moves to the left by 1 digit? First, we need to understand the Place value of 3 for that. 3 is present in the tens place. So it will have a value of 30. When it moves 
to the hundreds place, what is the value of 3? It becomes 300, which means that the value of 3 is going up by 10 times. So the answer is 10 times. The value of 3 will go up by 10 times when it moves to the left by one digit. Supposing 3 was in the ones place, it would have had a value of 3. When it moves to the tens place, it becomes 10 times more. The answer becomes 30. Okay? Let us move on to the next question. The new place value that we need to write a six digit number is lakhs. Dear viewers, we have seen each of these concepts in detail in our part 1 and part 2 of the video. If we are thorough with those, we can definitely answer all these questions given over here. Let us move on to the next topic. Choose the correct answer. The first question is, the difference between the place value and face value of the digit 1 in the number 4,73,189. Difference means subtraction. We all know that. 1 is in the hundreds place. So the value of 1 is 100. And the face value of 1 is always 1. So what is the difference between the place value and face value of 1? It is 100 minus 1. What will be the answer? 99 or 999. The correct answer is 99. Next question. 9 lakh 95,982. This is the number name given. We have to choose the correct number corresponding to this. The number corresponding to the number name 9 lakh 95,982 is this one because it is a six digit number. Notice that you have a comma after the ones, tens and hundreds period. After the thousands and ten thousand period you have another comma. And it is a six digit number and this one is a five digit number and it is 95,982. So the correct answer is this one. Let us move on to the next question. In which number is a digit 3 in the thousands place? So two numbers are given over here. In which number is a digit 3 in the thousands place? The correct answer is yes. So let us see ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So 3 is in the thousands place. And in this number, 3 is in the tens place. The correct answer is 1,23,064. Next question. This is an expanded form for a number. Choose the correct answer. Which is the correct short form for this expanded form. It is 40,000 plus 9,000 plus 800 plus 1. Which forms the answer 49,801. This is a wrong representation. This is the expanded form for another number. Let us see what is it. We have 1 lakh plus 20,000 plus 6,000 plus 700 plus 7. So we know that this answer is going to be a 6 digit number. So it will be 1 lakh 20,000 plus 6,000 is 26,707 which is the correct answer. Yes, this is the correct answer. This is also 126707, but the periods are put at wrong places. It is good to give such questions because it is to test if the child has really understood how to read large numbers. Okay, let us move on to the next question. What is the answer for this one? We have 7 lakh plus 30,000 plus 100 plus 20 plus 8. Which makes the number 7,30,128. It is a 6 digit number we know. So this is the correct answer. Here this is 73,128. So that cannot be the answer. The last question in this series is. 
10,000 plus 1,000 plus 700 plus 7. It makes the answer 10,000 plus 1,000 is 11,707. The correct answer is this one, 11,707. Now let us move on to some questions on Abacus. For Abacus, we can give questions in two different ways. Now here I have given you a six digit number and the children will have to draw the Abacus corresponding to this. We know that a six digit number requires six spikes. So we have six spikes over here. Next we will have to write the place values, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and the sixth place value lakh. The next step is to write the corresponding digits in the respective spikes. Five is in the lakh spike. We have two in the ten thousand spike, a zero in the thousand spike, four in the hundred spike, one in the tenth spike and six in the one spike. The next step will be to draw the beads corresponding to the number in the respective place values. So we have 5 lakhs which is represented by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 beads. 2, 10,000 represented by 2 beads. 1, 2. 0 does not have any value. So we have 4 hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 1, 10. And six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Applying the rules of usage of periods, you will get the number name for this number to be five lakh twenty thousand four hundred sixteen. So this is one way of questioning the abacus. You can give the number and make the children draw the number beads corresponding to the number and write the number name. In the next method of questioning, the beads corresponding to the numbers are given in the abacus spikes. So the children should be able to understand this and write the number on the abacus. So let us start with the 10,000 space. So we have a 5 digit number over here, we understand that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 3 ten thousands. So you write the 3 over here. Next, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 thousands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 hundreds. And 0 tens because there is no representation over here. Next, we have 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, you apply the usage of periods and put a comma after the ones, tens and hundreds place. And we have the thousands and ten thousands place over here. So it makes the number 35,604. The next question, we have a five digit number and we have to represent this in an abacus. So write the place values in the respective spikes. Put the corresponding numbers 4 in the ten thousands place, 1 in the thousands place, 5 in the hundreds place, 3 in the tens place and 2 in the ones place. Next, draw the beads corresponding to the respective numbers 4, 10,000, 1,000, 500, 3 tens and 2 ones, which gives the number 41,532. In the next question, we have represented a 6 digit number in an abacus. Now, the children have to read this and understand and write the number on the abacus. So the answer for this question is we'll have 3,61,245. Dear viewers, I have shown you different ways of framing questions for the concepts under place values. You could also use them as reference to frame few more such questions to test the understanding of your children. For the topic numbers and number names and face value and place value concepts, please refer to the part 4 of the video. I have given more questions over there. Links to all relevant videos will be given below in the description box. And dear viewers, hit the subscribe button and bell button for regular updates and do provide your valuable comments. 
see you in the part 4 of the video with more questions. Thank you.